Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you are doing well on your journey. And if you feel you aren't, my intention is to grab a word from the divine to help you to continue to move forward on your journey. I want to get into a general read for you guys. And of course, anything that you need from me can be found down below in the description box. Spirit of the Most High, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, higher beings, gods and goddesses, messages for the collective on what is most important at this present time. We bind and cancel any negative attacks. And we return those attacks to the center tenfold so that we may continue to be edified, uplifted, and encouraged. Spirit, guide me and protect me as I channel these messages um, for, the, um, for the collective. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. I'm going to use some moon manifestation oracles to see what's going on in the general energy and then of course I'll round it off with some tarot there's a sense of a need to surrender to to give up something um, some form of trust as well trusting in what it is you believe in believing in trusting um, in the universe as a whole trust that everything will be well Spirit, what messages are important at this present time? So speak your world into being um, first, qu first quarter moon in um, Gemini. Someone's words are very powerful um, at this present time is also what I'm hearing. Um, someone um, may also, of course, be a Gemini. Or you may have Gemini in um, some placement um, within your birth chart. But like I feel like at this present time somebody's a master of communication. Um someone someone is able to um speak up and speak their speak their way into things is what I'm hearing as well. But of course boldly um speak your um world into being someone is a powerful manifester. What else? So um, let your fears um, dissolve um, full moon in cancer. Um, there's a sense of needing of, of someone to um, calm themselves. Um, some form of meditation um, is also um, important at this present time is what I'm hearing. But like I feel like once you let your fears dissolve, you can go for it. Um, new moon in Aries um, There's a sense and a need of um, Someone needing to stand in their power Of course Aries and Cancer Are very significant um, at this present time I feel like A change of perspective um, Is also needed A needed to back off of things so you can see The entire picture as a whole Is also what I'm hearing What else? Forgive um, full moon in Pisces As I said like I feel like there's um, A need to surrender things Of course Pisces is significant at this present time as well I think there's a, a sense or a notion that um, Forgiveness is not something that is spoken Forgiveness is, su is something that is done Regardless as to whether somebody is present or not And like I feel like if forgiveness does happen in a space After some form of, of an apology That's the only reason why it did happen Because you were in spaces where um, Where one was being vocal um, But if someone isn't communicative at this present time There's someone that you don't talk to um, You don't physically need to be in their space In order to forgive them Neither do you need any form of a conversation either <clears throat> What else? So talk less, um, feel more. Last quarter moon in Pisces. That's interesting because um, in my meditation for this reading, those two cards came out um, specifically. And that is a need. That's exactly what I'm saying. Talk less, feel more. Like, I, I feel like there's 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 right now this this silence um, that is going on right now. And like I feel like someone's internalizing a lot of things. Uh, make time for self-love. Last quarter moon in Libra. <clears throat> a sense of 
um, needing to reflect um, within oneself. But like, I feel like someone's completely gone um, internal. They've gone on the inside and just wanted to, you know, see and feel what that space feels like. But let's see. Seven of Swords. Already. Seven of Swords and Eight of Cups. Um, someone really truly is not speaking up. Like I feel like someone is wanting to possibly speak up about wanting to start over. But like I feel like they're once it an ending is an ending with the devil and then the Queen of Swords and then the Ten of Wands. I feel like someone's walked away from something that truly was a burden. Like I feel like there was a point in time where someone someone really truly was speaking up about what it is they want. But like I feel like at one point in time or period, so all someone all someone was met with was 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 opposition. Possibly about something that you wanted to create, what was something that you wanted to um, bring into being, um, something that you wanted to manifest, and I feel like when it came down to you, you were all for what somebody else wanted to do, but when it came down to you, there was this feeling of you always having to do something by yourself, always having to rely on yourself because seemingly you couldn't get that with anybody else. Spirit, what is this? Speak your world into being. What is it we need? Okay. Eh, ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. An ending. With the justice. I feel like there's some form of karm, um, karmic justice that's coming into place. Um, something to rebalance thing after after something coming to an end. I'm also feeling the world energy as well. Um, cycles being over. And like I feel like with the clearing, with the with the cleansing, with cleansing of energy, with completely deading things, with ending things that that really truly don't mean any value or don't mean you any emotional value anymore. Um, you're creating space to br bring things into an end, uh, bring things to um existence, especially with the eight of cups. Excuse me, eight of coins. There's this um sense of like really truly mastering something, bring creating, um being inspired um by something. Um, I'm also hearing that um. Sacred geometry um, is important at this present time. And I know like within sacred geometry, um, there's a focus um, particularly what you're drawn to. Um, Metatron being one of those things. What else? So the magician. Um, something coming to an end so you can really truly create. Really, truly um, speak speak things into existence. I feel like there at one point in time there are also blockages, especially with the Ten of Swords. But like, I feel like someone someone's really truly moving forward with um, creating, with manifesting. And as I said, there's this sense of you know um, communication being silent sometimes. Like, I feel like someone's speaking their word into into existence, but they're not speaking their word to, world into existence out loud. It's a self spoken thing. I feel like someone is connecting and honestly having conversations um, with themselves, not in a crazy way, but like meetings, planning. What else? With the four of wands. Someone's um, someone has created goals. They're, they've, they're achieving goals. They're starting to conquer things. There's also this form of um, celebration. Um, I'm hearing somebody saying, finally, like, like, yes, like, that's what's going on. Like, that's what's up, especially with the King of Wands. Um, someone's feeling very, very successful. I feel like at this present time, someone's also standing in their power, um, standing in what feels powerful to you. And like, I feel like opportunities of love are coming your way because someone is viewing someone is very attractive. Um, someone is viewing someone is very attractive. How you're achieving your goals is also attractive. How you're honestly putting yourself first. What else? With the king of coins. Someone is like really truly in spaces where where they're growing. Um, where you're stabilizing um, wealth is also what I'm hearing. Like I feel like some we started from the bottom now we're here is also um, what I'm hearing. And then I'm also um, just here and getting the sense of um, being on rock bottom as well. From rags to riches. What else? Hmm. 
<laughs> With the king of cup, queen of cups, and the emperor. Yeah, I feel like there's also um, this changing of the guard as well. Like someone really truly knows how to, um, shall we say, code switch. Um, but someone, as I said, someone's really truly standing in their power, standing in what what it feel what feels powerful to you. Um, I feel like at this present time, someone's also um, has strong, very strong leadership qualities. I feel like this is also someone who really truly understands how to um, manage themselves um, as well. Let your fears dissolve. Ten of Cups. Mm. Empress I feel like there may be some form of fear About what, what, what somebody views as happiness A forever um, A happily ever after is also what I'm hearing Yeah with the two of coins Someone possibly feeling like um, They may not have enough Especially considering We do have the emperor <laughs> On the table Ten of cups With the eight of swords, something had some some form of happiness, some form of what somebody feel, believes is, is their happy ending. Um, they're feeling like they're stuck in, in some form of imprisonment, but this is definitely self-imposed, is what I'm hearing. I'm feeling like someone also isn't sure of themselves. What else? With the eight of coins. But it did come out in reverse Someone is not confident of their skills But I like I also feel like someone feels like they're plateauing um, as well Not feeling as secure in what they know that they know how to master What you what you've created before Your form of creation To what feels important to you With the six of cups as well Something that was very important to you That is very important to you Something of deep meaning, deep value I feel like somebody also shared a lot of space And a lot of time um, with somebody I'm hearing an old um, childhood friend um, As well, random I'm hearing something about like an old childhood friend um, Possibly somebody that you left behind As well Why is that important? Somebody stuck on a relationship that didn't work out with the fool. Somebody stuck on a relationship that didn't work out. And like, I feel like somebody's having some form of fear. Um, like some something's coming back up. Something that somebody held at bay. Some Something that somebody kept locked away with the five of um, cups. Some form of disappointment. Somebody definitely feels left behind, though. Cause like I feel like there's this starting over, but there's this starting over um, without somebody starting over fresh. And like I feel like it's nothing like extremely major, especially with the five of wands. I feel like there's this struggle. Um, there's some form of conflict, definitely conflict um, here in this space. Why the fool? Two of swords. I feel like a decision to start over. To take a leap of faith, to take a risk um, for when I'm hearing someone else. Take, take, to take a risk, to go to go for it. It's interesting how these cards are, are, are beginning to correlate as well. I feel like somebody's relinquishing, also relinquishing some form of fear. The Empress is also continuing to want to show herself. Let's go for it. Yeah, Ten of Wands, interesting. Moving on. Going for it. <laughs> what else? What is go for it? Three of Wands. Um, something is cycling back. Something is about to pay off as well. What else? What else is going on? The Empress. <laughs> Somebody's coming back around An opportunity As well 
someone is seeing growth and expansion someone is seeing change i feel like there was a separation between two friends who had a very fond love for each other um i feel like at some point in time when you went in your youth and even growing up you separated as teenagers and like i feel like there was never a moment where you both of you spoke up on how you really truly felt about um each other I feel like this old friend, and this is just a sidebar for whoever it resonates for. I feel like this old, you have been in communication with this old friend. And this old friend still feels like they're, they're a match for you. They still feel like they will be the thing that could like really, they, they're the only thing that could complete you in essence. The empress to the emperor. Um, unfortunately, no one, no one else would be able to compare. What else? Why the empress? With the nine of wands, I feel like at one point in time, um, a, lo a lot has transpired. A lot has transpired. A lot has changed. I feel like someone has gone through a lot of things, especially with the nine of wands. Um, seeming like you're, you're a wounded warrior because, I mean, let's be honest, it takes a lot to stand in this kind of energy. It takes a lot to stand in that kind of energy to to go through a lot and still be this nurturing kind of energy to still be soft spoken but still be loud without even having to say much i feel like you're also in a space um possibly in aries as well um taurus as well i'm also here in virgo like i feel like you're in a space where um you don't have to even speak up like people know who you are People know who you are. People don't. Do, oh, you don't have to say that you're the empress. People know when you walk by, you're the empress. What else? With the page of cups. I'm hearing never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, never in my wildest dreams. Like, I feel like someone really truly is like. I'm in a space where they're really, really remembering um, the six of cups is still coming back to play. Like, I feel like like if you consider the imagery, like I feel like somebody's looking through the windows of time and seeing how much somebody has changed, seeing how much somebody has been through, seeing how much um, somebody has grown. Now, it's, it's interesting that I now moved it over. I feel like somebody's also going in order with the four, the four of cups. Four swords, excuse me. Four sources at the bottom of the deck. Like somebody really truly is like really feeling and thinking about memories of the past and how different each other now, but still yet the same. What is this? With the chariot. Going for it. Forward movement. I feel like somebody is um, really taking action to really be in spaces where someone can reconnect, especially with the world. Coming the world, the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yes. What is this for Gil, full moon in Pisces? Seven of coins. Seven of coins. And yeah, with the um, king of swords was at the, um, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody is in a space. I feel like somebody. I, I feel like somebody is in a space where they're in some kind of five of cups energy is what I'm, I'm feeling. Like sad about something not working, something not growing, something not investing. But like I feel like there's this it, If at first you don't succeed Dust yourself off and try again uh, Is what I'm hearing Aaliyah <clears throat> That's interesting What else With the six of swords Keep going Forgive yourself Move, move forward to spaces of peace Understanding that all things happen for a reason is also what I'm hearing. But like I said, like this is not a spoken thing. Six, six of Swords is just I'm I'm moving forward. I'm making a conscious decision to move forward to spaces of peace, peaceful environments. I'm taking whatever I can. I'm bringing it with me, no matter if it fits. If it doesn't fit, then I'm just going to leave it behind. But I'm deciding to move forward to spaces of peace. I'm not bringing much with me. Someone needs to set themselves free. That's what 
Four of Cups. <laughs> what else? With the Seven of Swords. I'm Seven of Wands. Keep going. Be resilient is also what I'm hear hearing as well. I feel like despite the opposition, despite what's going on around you, despite what's happening, Queen of, Queen of Coins, stay grounded. But be aware. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. I don't know why I keep going in and say Seven of Swords. But it is a Seven. So Seven of Cups. Moving forward to space. I feel like somebody is also going to move forward to spaces where they have um, options. Being able to choose what type of environment you want to be in with the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Six of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Equal balance. What else? With the King of Swords. Speaking up. With the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody has something to say. Somebody feels like they need to say. I feel like somebody is wanting someone to speak up about um, some form of an apology. With the judgment at the bottom of the deck. A warning that's a, a wanting to set something free, almost on a warning, possibly as well. Which one is it? Temperance, healing, balance, spaces of change. Hmm. For some reason, I'm hearing Metatron. Metatron and um, hmm, the other one just drew a blank. Metatron. Hmm. What else? I'm feeling something else here, you guys. <clears throat> With the hermit. Moving on to spaces of change and healing, but also but just moving to spaces where you can really truly reflect and gain introspection about where it is you truly want to go. I feel like, as I said before, like there's no sense of needing to speak up exactly to anyone. Like I'm feeling like somebody really truly needs to forgive themselves and let something go. Let go of the fact that something just didn't work out. Unfortunately, that's what investing is. Investing is a risk, even if it is um, 99 versus 1 percent. Sometimes the 1 percent wins. And yes, that's very unfortunate in comparison to the great odds of it being successful. But sometimes you just that 1 percent, unfortunately. What's this talk less and feel more last quarter moon in Pisces? Feelings and emotions are very significant at this present time with the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> I need to talk less and feel more. What are you feeling inspired by? What is the current and present motivation, especially with the Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck? An opportunity to grow. There's an opportunity here for expansion to um, create as well. Ace of Wands with a judgment, a change. Um, a, a revealing is what I'm also hearing. What else? With the Ten of Coins. Endings. Endings over here to start new. Opportunities. Um, legacy. I feel like emotions need to be kept at bay at this present time. Because, like, I feel like somebody being overly emotional and yet overly emotional, not being emotionally mature. Um, like, I feel like that'll ruin something. But, like, I also do feel strong bonds and connections at this present time with the two of cups um, revealing itself. Someone really, truly wanting to ace of coins showing itself again. There's an opportunity here. Um, someone wanting someone wanting to gift you something as well. To show you with the seven of swords. That's why I kept on saying the seven of swords earlier. Um, someone is at this present time holding back. Wanting to reveal also. Um, how they may possibly feel. Now with the queen of coins here at the bottom of the deck. 
Someone feels like in some way, shape, form of capacity, they are a master. You read this the coin, um, read this the queen of coins to the king of coins that's already on the deck, or rather, it's the empress who's already showed herself to the um to the emperor. Someone is matching you um from space to space, from end to end is also what I'm hearing. Yeah, with the strength. What is this ten of coins specifically? Hmm. Five of Cups. Some form of disappointment. Possibly in some older setting with the with the Ace of Coins being some new form of energy judgment. Also, I feel like some, a judgment call that somebody made about some particular family dynamic or some some tor some sort of strong bond that you were grounded by, possibly through marriage. Something gravely disappointed someone here. I'm also possibly feeling um, a Ten of Wands energy. Uh, moving on to spaces that um, better suit you, especially with the world showing itself, um, cycles coming to an end. What is this um, Five of Cups specifically? High Priestess, something that revealed itself that was once hidden. Something that somebody feels like they knew about. Someone's intuition um, guided them, um, possibly through... Um, Maybe experience with a third party Feeling like someone's possibly cheated it, Cheating as well Feeling like someone's stuck possibly And also in another setting with the lovers The devil and then the nine of coins Showing itself I feel like somebody caught somebody acting like they were single And they weren't Especially with the nine of coins to the ten of coins Like I feel like somebody was out Out and about Possibly in some some sort of space with the tower as well and the lovers something something that was really truly unexpected something that was actually also very shocking um, as well I feel like this also has nothing to do with this empress and this emperor energy either neither the queen of coins to the king of coins that was showing itself as well I feel like this is a separate scenario in itself I feel like somebody knew about something somebody knew about somebody um, extending offers in other places cheating somebody knew specifically about somebody cheating um they didn't speak up about it, especially with the high priestess the high priestess is i feel like somebody gathered information to see if something really truly um something really truly was with the world something somebody saw what else queen of wands another woman Another queen of wands. Yeah, somebody was acting like they were single. What else? This is very random energy. With the knight of wands in reverse, somebody was also reckless. With the ace of coins. Somebody was out extending offers to other people. Offers to sleep with them. And like I felt like this had somebody tied, stuck, and in bondage. Why is this important? King of Cups. To put you in the space possibly of Pisces. Cancer is also what I'm hearing. To put you in the space to emotionally mature you. Unfortunately, it's very karmic. But I feel like the lesson here is emotional maturity, which is something that I just spoke about a little a little bit ago. With the death, I'm a change, a change to calmer spaces, to spaces where you're in the forefront. And it's interesting that we was started with the Pisces, talk less, feel more, to end it with the King of Cups. Well, you guys, that was a reading. <clears throat> Hopefully, this message resonated with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to take something from it that you could use. You guys, if there's anything that you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. And as always, remember to conquer this day. Bye, guys.